Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 12th PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to create an org chart or an organization chart uh, using the SmartArt graphics within PowerPoint. So the first thing to do is create a new slide. What I've done is I've created a, uh, I've created a blank slide here. Uh, you can certainly have a new slide that has the, you know, insert SmartArt graphic that brings it up for you. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm just going to create a complete blank slide here sorry uh, which is right here and I'm going to go insert smart art I'm going to go to hierarchy and I'm going to choose one of these uh, charts so I'm going to do this one here and then say OK so now I've got a basic format uh, my text box popped up I'm going to you can either type it over here or you can type it right in the boxes here so I'm going to I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type it over here. I'm going to say, let's see, Bob Smith is the CIO. And you see what will happen is and the text size will automatically adjust to fit, the, fit within the screen and so forth. So I'm going to go down here and let's assume that, um, let's see, Susan Jones is the exec assistant, right? And then let's make a group down here. We'll say that, uh, let's see, um, Donna um, Johnson is the applications vice president. And then we click over here and we'll say that, uh, let's see, Stephen Hyde is the infrastructure. VP, and then we'll say that we'll just make up a name here. Let's see. How about uh, Eric Foreman is the services VP? And now you want to start adding. Uh, let's assume that you have another VP that you'd like to add in here. You can click. Let me let me close that out for right now. You can click Add Shape. Do the pull down. And you can say add shape after, and you see this is the one that's highlighted right now. So I'm going to say add shape after. So you could have another VP or another two or however many. And then, but let's assume under Donna here you wanted to start to auto populate this. You, you highlight that that block and then say add shop add shape below. And then we'll say let's see here Michael Kelso is the um, software director. All right, and then underneath Michael, you have a highlight him, put add shape below, and you can put, um, now let's just make a name, let's see, George, oh, sorry, George Smith is the um, applications manager. You see the fonts getting pretty small. Let me do one thing here. I'm going to expand the size of the org chart just by highlighting it and then clicking till you get the um, your mouse has two arrows on either end. I don't know if the screen recorder is picking that up, but then click and hold with the mouse, drag it out, and so you can see we can make this. You know. You can fit it however you want to. Let's assume you wanted to get rid of Susan up here, or you just didn't want to show her on the org chart. You could hit highlight it and hit delete, and now you could uh, streamline it like that. So that's how you make an org chart without having to use an external tool. Uh, you can customize it however you want to. There's multiple layouts for org charts. There's one here. There's one there. You can do the pull down, right? So you can do lots and lots of different things, right? You can set it up like that. Um, lots of options here. So. Uh, please let me know if you have any other comments or you want to see anything else and please subscribe. Thanks for joining.